all right guys so today we are going to be running a simple program i'll guide you step by step on how to simply run a loop in your fortran so we are going to be making use of the do loop so let's start with our usual program 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 name in this case we have program simple do all right so the next line of code as usual um would be our implicit none although in this case we just want to maybe make it more flexible by writing a simple comment before our implicit none now remember that your comment doesn't really affect the program rather it actually provides clarity um for a person trying to study your code so um the next line being implicit none and then on the next line we are going to um, declare our variables so we are going to declare as integer we have our variable as integer but then we can still choose to write a comment between perhaps for clarity as well so i have here in my comment line um in this case we are going to um we want to declare just one variable so all right all right the variable is going to be i that's um, the integer variable so put we'll just place um we'll just place i down there at the integer so So down here we'll have integer i so then we'll now start our loop remember we are using the do loop so we'll do for i we have do i equals 1 comma 10 now Right, so sorry this is a mistake one comma ten so then this one comma ten means i'll have a loop running from one to ten that's like one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten just like that as simple as that so the next thing i'll have to do is um just to print my statement out so remember um, this is a result I want to print so I won't really put it in quotation so next thing is just to end my program and try running it to see what I'll get so have end program simple do all right so let's save the program so we'll save the program with, with any name of our choice and then then we can now build our program so after building the program the next thing is to simply go ahead and run the program so here we are so you see we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right so let's try to make some changes to see if it will affect our output let's say one comma twenty and then um, probably 
Oh. Okay, let's try something like this out. Let's let's see if we can have a wonderful result on this. So yeah, we still have numbers running from one to twenty. So all right, so let's still keep manipulating the code and see what we'll have. What if we place comma and two next after this? All right, the last number we are placing shows the succession, like how many steps it keeps taking. So after the number one, what you will now get is three and then five and then seven, just that way. So it shows the succession. So look at, okay, here is our output. You can see one, three, nine, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, and so on. So we can still change the last number to probably three. So let's see what we'll have here. Let's make it three and see what our output would look like. Now, you can feel free to pause the video and guess what you'll we'll have as the outputs. So guys, this is what we have here. We have 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, and 19. So you can see that it just follows a graduation of four, um, sorry, three steps each. So, all right, so this will be all for today. You can feel free to leave your comments on the comment section below. Also, ensure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We love you.